Hi, I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stahl's CAD Cut Direct. Thanks for watching. Getting great tracking with your vinyl cutter can be a challenge. Often vinyl cutters just aren't designed for great tracking. And that has a lot to do with the manufacturer of the cutter, uh, th whether you use it with a stand or as a tabletop model, and it has a lot to do with your actual roll that you're feeding through the machine. Common sense should tell you that if you try to feed a roll that's not wound tightly or accurately through the cutter, tracking is going to be all over the place. So you're not going to be able to send long jobs. And a lot of it has to do with how do you load the roll into the actual machine. So let's review some techniques for loading the roll accurately into the cutter and how pinch rollers play a part in tracking and also how lining up the material right the first time plays a big part. Let's check it out with a roll that's wound tight. This particular cutter we have it set up on a stand. Stands usually greatly improve the tracking of a unit. Uh, the reason being, especially when you're dealing with larger rolls, they're, they're better suited to handle the roll. When you have a tabletop unit, often a tray sits behind the unit, and when you're loading large rolls, they run into the back of the machine or they just don't fit properly. So you get all types of interference when the machine's trying to roll the, the material through the machine. Uh, so let's load this uh, by sliding it underneath the pinch rollers. Once you feed the material through the machine there are some basic things to consider. One is setting the roll up on the back of the stand to accommodate where the material needs to run through the machine. On this particular cutter there are designated areas where the pinch rollers have to be placed underneath. So I got lucky with this one uh, when I pull the material tight I can see that these rollers are going to fall directly underneath these white areas. The next decision I make is how far exactly to place these pinch rollers on the outside of the material. The further you try to squeeze the materials out to the edge of the material, uh, if the machine goes off track at all, the material is going to go out from underneath the rollers and you run the potential to ruin a job or ruin some cuts. So I always recommend bumping them in slightly so if the machine doesn't track 100% accurate on a long piece, you're not going to lose the job. You have a little bit of give there. So we'll push these out fairly close to the edge, but still inside enough, and then we'll pull the material tight. Now, as I'm pulling the material tight, I can reach behind and grab the roll and use one of my alignment lines to line up the edge of the material. After you line the material up, you may have a slight adjustment to do on the pinch rollers. I'm just gonna bump this one in slightly. Now, holding the material tight, I'll lock down the lever. I'm now ready to tell the machine that I have a roll loaded. Now it would be nice if you could line things up straight 100% of the time, but that's not always possible for me or for you. Um, so the goal here is to actually pre-feed some material to make sure it's tracking straight. Now with certain cutting units and certain stands, you'll want to feed a little bit of slack out on the roll, which is what I'm doing here. Um, just about as, enough, as long as my job, and then I'm going to pre-feed uh, the material just to make sure this thing's tracking straight. and scroll it back in. With certain cutting units, you can actually program this uh, setting so it pre-feeds the material for your job. So it'll actually track the material out to make sure that it's going to have enough uh, to track straight for the job, and then it'll begin cutting the job. That way you're not wasting any material with uh, cuts going through it before it bunches up or goes off track. Another helpful thing to look for when you're shopping for a cutter, if you don't, don't already own one, are these inserts that can be put into the side of the core or up against the core on the stand. And this will help to make sure that your roll is completely straight and tracking accurately through. So these are the basics on achieving accurate tracking with your vinyl cutter. Make sure you have a nicely wound roll, make sure you have it lined up in the material straight, and always pre-feed the roll first to make sure it's going to track straight so you don't get inaccurate cuts. I'm Josh Ellsworth with Stahl's CAD Cut Direct. Thanks for watching.